Hey everybody, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me a bit today. I am back with a front door fashion collection to share with you. If you're new, I'm Laura. This little cutie is Xena. The white puppy dog is Wyatt. We sure hope you stick around for the long haul and hit that subscribe so I can keep on bringing you new content. If you are not familiar with front door fashion, it is a styling service, not a subscription. So you don't get a collection unless you ask for one. Their price points start at about the average of $100 per item. So for that reason, once you ask for a collection to be sent to you, they do charge your credit card for $100. There's no styling fee. So once you get your collection and then you try everything on, you check out, let your stylist know what you're keeping, then the $100 goes towards anything you decide to keep. If you keep nothing, the $100 is refunded. So it is amazing because you get so many styles to choose from. So I think I have 17 different pieces here to try on. Um, your stylist will ask you what you're looking for. If you have an event coming up, if you are looking to um, for any specific piece or for styles for your life, work, casual, weekend, whatever, they will try to find pieces that suit your lifestyle. So I do think it is an amazing service um, and I thoroughly enjoy it. My stylist, Rachel, does an amazing job and they have so many brands, um, a lot of uh, very premium brands. So higher end brands, as well as um, the everyday brands that you're familiar with. So we're going to go through quite a few here, like Liverpool, um, Nick and Zoe. I have DL 1961. Um, so you're going to recognize a lot of these brands I'm going to be talking about today. All right, let's get started. So I had the very first outfit on. This one is uh, really pretty, and I'm loving this blue color. So as I mentioned, I do have on, and I have four collections. Um, the first collection is this outfit I have on right now. So they average between three to five or six pieces, um, and she does break them up into collections, and she'll try to pair them back to pieces you've kept from prior collections. And, and your stylist remembers. She knows what you kept. So this first collection is this Nick and Zoe uh, fringe mix jacket, the DL 1961 Mara, uh, 27 inch ankle straight and then the Karen Kane drape cami. All right, so let's start with the pants. Um, I do love DL 1961. This is a great premium denim. This is my normal size and they fit really, really well. As I mentioned, they are an ankle fit. So these are hitting me uh, right at my ankle bone. Actually, I have a 28 inch inseam. So these are 27 inch. I really like them. They're in this really nice dark black. This is the kind that um, I really enjoy wearing if I want to have a little bit more of a dressier look for work. Or if I'm just going for a great black look. So we are allowed to wear denim in the office. So I really enjoy these. They have that unfinished hem. No distressing otherwise. Great fit. Love the darker wash. And then she paired it with this... Um, Great Nick and Zoe jacket. So this is a fun little tweed jacket. Feels very Chanel-y. Nick Zena wants to make a break for it. Super cute. Has, uh, I think these are snaps here at the wrist. Loving this blue. You have the fringe here at the wrist as well as all around the neckline as well as the bottom. Zipper pockets. And she said you liked, I liked the pink one. So I did keep one in a pink and white that looks just like this. But because of this really pretty royal blue, she thought I would like this one as well. And it is super pretty. And then she paired it with this cami underneath, which is also very pretty. Adjustable straps. It's a, a cow neck. But it matches perfectly by Karen Kane. And then just to show you what this looks like, I'll untuck. It has the rounded hem. Comes up a little bit on the sides. The color is just really, really nice. I love the blues. A little closer just so you can see this. So then pricing for these. The Nick and Zoe fringe mix jacket. This is a size small. I had on 198. The DL 1961 ankle straight. I have a 26, which is my normal size, 179. And this Karen Kane drape cami, 
I have an extra small on, 108. Let's do another outfit. So this next collection gives all the spring transition vibes, right? So wear now, wear later, starting with this dress from Michael Stars, which is one of his traditional go-to, brings out every year style dresses that everybody loves because it looks good on everybody. This one is this fun gray color and it has the ruching on the sides, both sides. You can move this thing up or move it down, wherever you like. If you want it more length, you'd like it to be shorter, you want to hide anything like this is just great for people for anyone who wants to just look amazing that's what this dress is all about right and i do really like it um so this one is more like a midi dress but you can raise it up a little bit more if you like here's what it looks like i like it in this gray which is super nice nice little neutral i just put on with like a slip on um mule booty style it does have like a ribbing through it and then um, in this particular collection, she gave me a fun boyfriend blazer to go with this. But you could probably wear all the jackets in this collection with it. This one is by Liverpool. In these fun greens. Which is, I think, a great look for anything. Work, weekend, dinner. Has the flat pockets in this fun little check pattern. Pulls out the greens, has that gray running through it. I think you guys can see. Just really cute. Creates a really great look. A little bit more light, there we go. Hopefully that's helpful. We're having a very gray day today, very gray. So I do like this. I think this one's really great. Um, I will tell you, I already own it. <laughs> so luckily this one's already in my wardrobe. I think it's a great blazer. You can always um, uncuff the sleeves as well to dress, keep it a little bit more dressy if you want. And I think that looks nice. The length on me is really good. So nothing to complain about here. Now, um, I think the blue from the other jacket would also look nice with this if I wanted to put, pair the Nick and Zoe with this, right? The blue would be pretty. But I could also, I have another blazer coming up here in one of the other outfits, which is really nice. This one has gray running through it as well. So I know, love how she is creating way, different ways to wear a lot of these pieces. So interchangeable outfits here. This one is in a really nice gray and coral color. So for this one, the Boyfriend Blazer by Liverpool, I'm wearing an extra small, 119. And then the Michael Stars Vivi, Wren, Wren Midi Dress. This color is called Shadow. I'm wearing an extra small, $98. Um, in order to get discounts from Front Door Fashion, you can refer a friend and you'll get, if they sign up, um, they'll get $50 towards their first collection, and you'll get $50 towards your next. So I'll, of course, share my referral in case anyone would like to give this a try. Um, you also fill out feedback on each item, which you'll get points for, as well as your overall collection, you'll get points. And those points also build up, and they will give you money towards pieces as well. And then they also offer specials. So if you spend a certain amount, you'll get money, um, and those that will add up also. So keep all that in mind. All right, let's do another outfit. All right, so she gave me another option for this blazer, which I appreciate. This one's a more casual look, um, starting with the Hudson denim. So this has a little bit of distressing. Hits me right at the top of my foot. Great fit. These are 26, my normal, my normal um, size. See these? Super cute, right? And she paired it with this Michael Stars T, which I will show you in this great green color. I like this for a great weekend look. 
So the Michael Stars tea is um, similar to one she sent me before, only this one is a shorter version. It's in this great V-neck, but it's, it's shorter. So you could tuck it in just to make sure it stays down, which generally is what I would do. It has the V-neck, elbow sleeve. I think the color is fabulous. A little closer so you can see this. Yeah, I think it's a really good color. Great for transition. Great layer. So for the Michael Stars Enid T, this color is Ivy. I'm wearing an extra small, $88. And then the Hudson Nico 28 inch ankle straight. I'm wearing a 26, my normal size. These are 195. Okay, so now we have on the Daydreamer Pink Floyd T, which I love. And then the DL 1961 denim. This one is in a black wash and more of a straight leg. Hope you can see that. I like these. They're more relaxed. They feel really nice on but they're not quite as dark as that other pair I tried on for you. And they are hitting me right at my ankle. Really cute, right? And these have a finished hem. Yeah, I really like these. I like this look. Let me get a little closer so you can see that wash. You can see the T. Really pops that pink. So fun. So I grabbed, this is the jacket that my stylist was referring. You may remember from my past um, front door fashion that I kept, okay? And then she said it was similar to the blue one. So I liked, I kept this one. So she thought I would like this one. So that's what she's comparing it to. And then she, these next pieces that she sent me, she said would go with this jacket. So she actually thought that this tee would look cute under this jacket. So that's what we're gonna do, we're trying it on. I've already worn this jacket. If you watch my outfit of the day, um, what I wore videos, you know what I keep. That's how you find out what I keep from my boxes. You get to see what I wear on a regular daily basis, how I put my outfits together from what I keep. Um, so check those out there on Sundays. But this is how she said I could pull this look together for another outfit idea, so for a casual way to wear this, which I love the dressy mixed with the casual. So I did love the idea of that. And I also like this jacket a little bit better than the blue. I love the color, by the way. This blue is gorgeous, but I don't like the flappy opens. I don't know why. Um, this, this isn't my favorite when it flaps open like this, just because it doesn't generally stay open. I always feel like I have to fix it, but that could just be me. I like that this one just is straight down. So I actually think this is cute. Let me know what you think. I thought at first the colors wouldn't go, like this is gonna be too bright, it would look strange, but it actually goes really nicely. She did a good job. So the Pink Floyd 1973 Tour Tee, Tee by Daydreamer, I have on an extra small, is $84. And then the DL 1961 Patty High Rise 27 inch straight ankle, I have on a 26, which is my normal size, is $199. So then she also sent me this great Michael Stars Tee. Now she knows I love VNX. <laughs> And I love a great layering tee. So I so appreciate that she did think of this and send, send it to me. Now, this one is a little bit different than the green one. And I did want to make sure I pointed out to you about the green one, that it does have the ruching. This one does not. So let me show you on the side how it has that ruching on both sides. The other, this one does not, which is a nice touch. And I like that. So this one is just like a plain cotton tee. No ruching, has the longer... Uh, wrist here, very soft, very comfy. It's longer than that green one. So here's what it looks like. I just did a front tuck so you could see that. 
a great layering tea. Nothing not to love about it. And then she had suggested putting the tea over top of it. So we could do that so you could see what that looks like. So that's kind of fun too. I just did a front tuck and then you could just add your, your favorite jacket if you want. Otherwise, at least now you've got your long sleeves for the cold, cooler months and you have a cute casual look. So for this tea, it is called the Michael Stars Logan Supima V-neck tea. And this is one size. So this tea comes in one size. Um, and it is 60, no, $88, 88. And there are two more items left in this collection. Let's do it. All right, next couple of pieces. <laughs> so I wanna start with the top because I don't like it. Um, and, that, and because it took a lot of energy to get this thing on, it's sort of like when I have to put my compression stockings on after sclerotherapy. It's a lot of work to get those things on. Once they're on, you just want to leave them forever. This thing I want to take back off and never put it on again. It, uh, it's very hard to even get it on your arms. It's hard to get it in place. It's very high up on the neck, which I'm not enjoying. And um, it, you'd have to wear a strapless bra. Um, the corners of my bra here are showing. It, it ha it's very body con. Um, so while I do don't mind the cutout, that's kind of nice. It's not something I think that's really overly flattering, nor is it comfortable. It's uncomfortable. It's it's tight on my arms. It's tight through here. Maybe I could size up, but I just don't think it would be worth it. So I like the idea of it, but the reality of it is not good for me. I did a quick front tuck. You could tuck it in. The HE denim, these are fun. These are a purpley color. Um, they have a nice, like, straighter leg down to past the... Um, Past the knee. They're a little bit more form fitting down to the knee. But the color is fabulous. And this, yeah, and this nice, like, plummy. I'll show you what I mean by this top. So you can see, like, my bra here at the corner. So it goes the whole way over. It's very high up on the neck, very tight here in my arm, very tight. It just feels like a compression stocking to me. Even like through here up to my neck. Yeah. But the pants are very nice. These are, they're not tight. They actually were very easy to get on. They feel loose and more comfortable. The color is nice. So I like those. So for the AG Mari 29 inch straight in Pinot Noir. I'm wearing a size 26, which is my regular size. They are $2.95. And for the Susanna Monica Cruise Slit Sleeve Top in black, I'm wearing an extra small, $1.48. All right, and we made it down to the last collection. We made it to the final collection. I have on mauve denim and the line sweater. And these are such a great denim by the mobby i love by mobby i love the um straight leg hits me right at my top of my foot i guess we'll call it great cut great fit they have a nice weight to them i feel like they're opaque you're not seeing anything like i hate whenever you can see pockets and everything else i don't feel like you can see that here such a great fit this is my normal size yeah, I like these. And then she said the sweater from the line is just a nice color v-neck and would be great for popping on a denim jacket over top of here. And off you go. I did. I left it out just so you could see the little notch here on the side and the overall fit. But you can easily do a front front tuck or a full tuck and then start to really style this. This color is pretty and it's lightweight. This is something you can easily style under nice underneath something.
So I like this. I like wearing white all year round. So the line bought a Sarah V-neck sweater. I'm wearing an extra small is 120. And Mobby New York high rise 28 inch straight in off white. I'm wearing a size 26, which is my normal size is 128. And these aren't, um, these aren't like majorly off white. So you can see this, this T is, is a little bit more antique white. So these are a little bit whiter than that. Just so you can see the difference. All right, so other options to go with these pants. How about this fun Ecru sweater tank? Love this color. It does scream, let's bring on spring, right? Um, I did a little front tuck, but this is super cute. It feels so nice on and it is incredibly like stretchy, comfy, but not boxy. How fun is this? Love this color. Here's what it looks like out, just so you can see that. I like it with a front tuck or full tuck. And then I'm gonna throw on the last item I have to share with you, which is another Liverpool blazer. This one is super fun. And I shared it too with you when I was showing you the um, dress. These colors are really nice. Love this, a little bit of that double breasted style. You could wear this with um, probably a, a dark jean, white jean, a blue jean, a gray jean. I love that it has the two different patterns to it. Check that out. So very cool, right? I'm enjoying that. I think that's fun. And there's the back. I like this outfit. I like the dual patterns, you know? Two sides of it, very cool. What do you think of this one? Overall, I thought all of these pieces were really great. We'll talk about which ones I think are the keepers in just a second. Let me tell you about these particular pieces as far as pricing goes. So the Liverpool half and half double breasted blazer, I'm wearing an extra small, 129. And then the Ecru Pointel rib shell in Poppy, I'm wearing a small, 144. And that is everything. Now, if I wanted to keep everything, which you can do, um, obviously, it would be $2,320. And if you kept it all, you'd get 10% off. So it'd be $232, bringing it down to $2,088. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep it all. That would be one awesome if I, if I could, but I don't think that's what I'm going to do. Um, overall, I love this whole outfit. I think this is super fun. I actually really like the whole last uh, collection. So I, I, I like this sweater too. I thought this was a great little v-neck sweater. Um, this, this top, obviously I'm not going to keep because I thought it was just for me terrible. <laughs> it just was not comfortable on. I just would uh, fighting just to get it on and off would be terrible for me. Plus it was too high in the neck. So I don't like anything touching my neck. The pants I thought were really great. I feel like I have, I have to check colors, but I feel like I have something similar in this color. So I may pass on these, but I thought they were a really great pant. Um, I really liked the tea, Michael Starr's tea. I love them. And I actually really liked this black wash. I think maybe a little better as far as fit goes than the darker black. Loved the Pink Floyd tea. And I loved it. Actually paired back to my keeper from a prior collection. Obviously, I already have this 
blazer, so don't need to worry about that. I thought the dress was super cute. Um, I do love the, the Michael Starr's dresses, but I do have several, so I have to think about that one. This outfit I thought was really cute. I actually really liked this green, and it did pair back really nicely with this jacket, so I might keep this tee. I did like the Hudson denim. I thought they were great. And then I'm not really sure about this outfit at all. Um, I love the color, um, but the cow neck I'm not so sure about. I'm not loving like kind of the flappy open. If it was like a true lapel, I would probably like it better, but I'm not sure about that. And then I think if I had to pick between the two black jeans, I'd rather get the other pair. I thought the fit was a little bit better. So let me know what you thought. What were your picks? What were your favorite outfits? I do have to say this color though, amazing. I love the color. So share your favorites with me. I will obviously list all these items down below in case you would like to request any of them from your stylist. I'll put my link down below in case you'd like to give Front Door Fashion a try. So at least it'll get you $50 off your first collection. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. This was so much fun. Huge shout out to Rachel. She does an amazing, amazing job. Hit that like, hit that subscribe so I can keep on doing this, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, everybody.